Okay, hello everyone. Just getting my screen set up here for our presentation. Again, thank you for joining us. My name is Erin Scott. I work with Jody. We are both academic advisors in the Faculty of Kinesiology at the University of Calgary. So welcome to Open House 2021. Thank you so much for joining us. Um, Today, like Jody briefly mentioned here, we're going to give you a bit of an introduction to the faculty and what we're all about, what you could expect to learn with us. Um, we'll go over details about us as advisors and what you can expect from the advising team. We've got a little bit of information about career and the practicums that we offer as part of the program. And at the very end, we'll do a question and answer. So if you do have questions that come up through the presentation, please hold them to the end and we'll be happy to answer them for you. So this is us, we are the Faculty of Kinesiology. Um, we are a very active faculty. When you study with us, expect to be active in your labs and in your courses. We are very hands-on, so you will learn by doing um, in your exercise physiology, biomechanics and nutrition labs and you'll get to experience firsthand what it means to be an active leader in the field of sport science. So expect to become a leader in healthy and active living. We have the astute honor of being named the number one sport science in North, number one school of sports science in North America and number seven globally. And we actually have a partnership with another one of these schools that's number two in the world, uh, the Norwegian Sport Institute. So what that means is some of our students in their third or fourth year can go off and do a study abroad exchange with another high ranking school in the world. It's very, very cool. And we've had a few students go who have absolutely loved their experience. The Faculty of Kinesiology is not just an academic unit. We have a few other departments with our, within our institution as well. So number one, of course, we have our academic programs. So we've got graduate and undergraduate students. Undergraduate students would be you guys. So coming in from high school, doing your first four year undergraduate degree is what we call that, a bachelor's degree. Um, and then graduate students are students who are working on their master's or their PhD. So we have both schools. We have a human performance lab, which is part of what earned us that number one um, spot in North America. Um, our researchers in the human performance lab are producing a lot of really interesting influential research. Um, and it's right down the hall from the academic office that you can see right here in this picture. We have our dino athletes. So we've got a number of student athletes um, playing, you name it, football, soccer, softball, volleyball, basketball, all that. We've got all of our dinos and they're just down the hall from us as well. We've got the Olympic oval, which has the fastest ice in the world. So uh, that's for speed skaters. We also have a couple of hockey rinks in there and you might find yourself in the Olympic oval in one of your labs doing speed skating or playing hockey, running track, um, or just spending time uh, recreationally running around the track. We have active living, which provides our um, gym facilities. So if you would like to get a workout in while you're on campus, that's through active living. And we have our sport med center. Again, right down the hall from us, we've got doctors, physiotherapists, chiropractors, and um, sports massage, all right in the facility. And it all ties back into the undergraduate experience, what you're learning and practicums, volunteer experience, all of this is right here in the Faculty of Kinesiology. So our undergraduate students make up about 1100. Um, believe it or not, that is a small faculty. We are one of the smaller faculties on campus. So we've got 1100 undergrad students, about 40 faculty members and three academic advisors. So myself, Aaron Scott, we've got Jody McGill as well, who's joined us today. And one other, Megan McSween, who is in our booth right now in the open house forum. So if you have questions after this, you can ask them here or you can go to the booth and we'll be happy to um, answer your questions to the chat as well. In the Faculty of Kinesiology, we value experiential learning as I've spoken about. Having that hands-on opportunity to explore what you're learning and really apply it in a practical sense is really important to the field of kinesiology. So you'll do that in your labs, in your activity classes. There are 
plenty of research opportunities, both volunteer, paid, um, or for an honors thesis that you could be doing in your fourth year. We've got tutorials, seminars, practicums. We really tried to build in that experiential element to the kinesiology curriculum. Everything in kinesiology is very evidence-based um, within the realm of science. So we are quite um, science-based in the Faculty of Kinesiology. And of course we have excellent students. We are so lucky. Um, part of the reason I love my job so much in the Faculty of Kinesiology is the student body. Um, we have a very welcoming and wonderful crew and that's including professors and academics and staff as well. It's just a very nice community and um, excellent, excellent students. So you may have checked out our website before, or you may have looked at the application already, and you'll notice that we have a few different streams in kinesiology. So number one, we split our degrees into two. We have the Bachelor of Kinesiology and we have a Bachelor of Science. And then within those bachelors, um, either the kin or the science, we have different majors for you to choose. And I'll go over those in a moment. And we also have the optional honors program in fourth year. This year, we have about 25 students in our honors program. So it's not for everyone, um, it's by application. It's for high achieving students who are interested in doing their own honors thesis. Um, and so, you know, pictured here would be an example maybe of somebody conducting their research for their honors project, working with a supervisor who would be a faculty member in kinesiology. So the majors that we offer are kinesiology, which would be perhaps referred to as our general major. Um, it is the most flexible and perhaps one of our highest enrollment um, programs in kinesiology. It offers the core curriculum um, and then um, a wide opportunity for options. So you, if you have diverse interests outside of kinesiology that you would like to explore, um, like you want to take maybe some sociology classes or you want to build in some biology, um, whatever it may be, kinesiology might be the course, um, the major option for you. Then we have biomechanics, which really focuses on the specific movements of the human body, the physics of it all. Um, so students with a strong background in physics and interested in engineering um, would be maybe looking at a biomechanics major and that's a bachelor of science. Exercise and health physiology gets down to the cellular level to understand what's really going on um, at the cellular level when we exercise. Things like how does altitude affect high performance athletes? That's a good example of what exercise physiologists will look at. We have leadership and coaching, which is really designed for students who want to go into um, leadership roles or into teaching down the road, health promotion, those types of things. And then we have our motor and psychosocial aspects of movement major, which you may have heard before referred to as mind sciences. It's the same major, same degree, just a different name. And that major really focuses on things like psychology and motivation and sports science. And how does the brain tie into this big world of sports science that we have? So those are our five majors. Um, depending on which major you choose, it will give you different options for the type of degree, Bachelor of Science or Bachelor of Kinesiology. And I'm not sure, I didn't cover this earlier, so I'm just going to go over it briefly here. To earn a Bachelor of Science, we get this question a lot, what the difference, the major difference between Bachelor of Kinesiology and Bachelor of Science. To earn a Bachelor of Science, you have to take science options, whereas with the Bachelor of Kinesiology, you do not have to take science options. The kinesiology curriculum as it is, which means everyone in the faculty has to take a certain number of sciences within the designated curriculum already, but our science students have to take additional science courses. So if a science is your thing and you think you're going to be taking chemistry and math and biology, um, you know, you really gravitate towards those courses, then the Bachelor of Science may be for you. But if you're not so interested in those topics, then the Bachelor of Kinesiology may be more suitable. Um, back to how we are an active faculty, all students must fully participate. So if you have questions about 
whether or not you really want to be active in your degree. Um, think about that before applying to kinesiology because we are active and we require full participation in order for you to get full marks for your courses. A kinesiology degree consists of 40 unique courses. So 40 courses over the span of four years usually works out to about 10 courses per year, five courses per term. If you would like to take fewer courses per year, that's fine, um, but we can get more into those details later on. But typically it's 40 courses, 18 of those 40 are what we call the core. And those are your mandatory courses that you have to take part of the degree. The rest of the courses are um, split up into options. And so you will be able to pull in non-kinesiology courses. Um, so you need a minimum of five non-kinesiology courses and um, you're allowed a maximum of 15 non-kinesiology courses. And you do have the opportunity to add a minor. A minor is usually about 10 courses in a different field of study. So if you were really interested in Greek and Roman studies, um, you could do a minor in Greek and Roman studies and pull those 10 courses in to be part of the overall 40 that you complete for your degree. We also offer three different combined degrees. So combined degrees take five years to complete um, at minimum. Um, they are Bachelor of Kinesiology combined with dance, one of the only institutions in Canada that offers this program. And we have the Bachelor of Kinesiology combined with the Bachelor of Commerce. So the Haskane School of Business is our partner with that combined degree. And we have the Bachelor of Kinesiology combined with the Bachelor of Education. And that's intended, of course, for students who would like to go into teaching, particularly teaching phys ed in high schools or elementary. We have a lot of support for our undergraduate students in the Faculty of Kinesiology. Um, we offer really excellent advising. There are three of us for um, the 1100 students. So we have a pretty good ratio of students to advisors. Um, and we like to know our students by name. We are a small faculty. There's usually only about 300 give or take students admitted to the faculty each year. So we really do get an opportunity to meet with each of you and work with you and build relationships. Um, and that's what lends to a really um, excellent advising experience for students. We have a career and practicum advisor um, who will help you one day when you get to third, fourth year, start choosing practicums. Um, practicums are opportunities for you to go out in the workplace and get practical experience. You could be in a physio office, you could be working in schools, you could be working with the Calgary Flames, um, doing any type of work related to kinesiology. We've pre-established all of these placements for you to choose from, and it's just a really great way to get solid work experience on your resume before you graduate, um, just to help you with that career exploration and landing a job right after graduation. We have various undergraduate study areas within the faculty, um, within in the building itself is what I mean. Um, so we've got some secret spots that may not be so secret anymore. Um, some really nice quiet areas for students to go that are have usually traditionally been for Kinesi students only. Um, we have a dedicated computer lab, which we run some of our um, higher tech classes out of. And we have our KSS, which, um, stands for the Kinesiology Students Society. They are fantastic. They are, they have been, um, they have won awards um, from the Students' Union for their work that they do for undergraduate students. They're a really enthusiastic, engaged, um, just fabulous group of students that put on events for other kinesiology students. They run tutoring programs. They have galas at the end of the year. They run a really interesting event called Kindustry where they showcase different um, careers in kinesiology. All of that comes from your student society and it's possible to get involved with them right from your first year um, in something that they usually run called Kin Camp. Um, we can go over that <laughs> maybe in more detail later, but just know that your kinesiology students Society is here to support you and um, just give you a really fantastic experience in your journey as a kinesiology student. And last but not least, we've got your SU rep. SU stands for Students' Union. Your Students' Union um, 
is a collective agency to bring a voice to students, empowered students. So if you um, want to get more involved with student politics, chat with your student union rep. Again, back to your academic advisors. <laughs> we are one of your most important resources on campus. You can come to us with questions about the program. We encourage you to check in fairly frequently with us at least once a year. Um, just come to us with your registrations, ask us to check it over and make sure that you're staying on track. Um, if you're having trouble with any classes or if you just have a question and you don't know who else to ask, come to us and maybe we'll be able to answer it. Maybe we won't maybe we'll just refer you on to somebody that can answer. Um, but we are happy to be your first point of co contact. And again, we just really like to build those strong relationships with our students. So definitely chat with us. We are, he we are here to help. So question about admissions, registration, program planning, changing degrees, campus services, international exchanges, which I touched on briefly. Um, we have students that go abroad all over the world. And of course, graduation requirements, we work very close with you in your final year to make sure everything is looking tickety-boo and you're ready for graduation um, and much, much more. So don't overlook us, we are here to help. This is us. So you've got myself, Aaron Scott, Jody McGill in the middle and Megan McSween there on the right. And we are available by email primarily. Um, just because we are in and out of the office, email is the best way to contact us for sure. Um, the email address is there for you, kinesinfo at ucalgary.ca. And we have a pretty quick response time, but we sometimes ask um, during peak busy periods, particularly right now with admissions opening up, um, to just give us a few business days to get back to you. This is a lovely picture of our Kines KSS at one of their galas. Um, we, again, just really driving the point home, we have such outstanding students um, who seek excellence through academic and life achievements. We're really proud of everything that our students accomplish. Um, really excellent, uh, high achieving students, and we'd be really happy to have you join us. So. Um, if you'd like to look into more of the KSS in particular, you can check them out on social media. They have their tags down here at the bottom for Facebook and Instagram. So maybe snap a picture of that so you don't forget to look them up and you can just follow along and see what they're, what they're doing and what you can expect for your next year in kinesiology. And that concludes our brief presentation here, introducing you to what we're all about. I will open the floor now to questions. You can either choose to type your question out in the chat and we can go through that, or you could raise your hand um, and you could speak out loud if you'd like, whichever you prefer. I'll give you a couple minutes. 